Oh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and, it's going. and it's going. So, um, first, tell us your name and his name. Okay. Uh, my name is Kathy Anderson, and this is Buster Anderson. That's all. Buster is about four and a half years old, so he's still a little guy, young guy, young stud. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, the, the, yeah, that goes straight into the first question, which is, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and Buster here. What is unique about Buster? Uh, he's just happy, 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 happy. I mean, I've had pugs before, and uh, just I just like him. My vet is crazy about him, too, which is very, very helpful, and he loves going to the vet, and he loves going everywhere, and he's just he's just a lot of fun. They say that pugs are the, what do they say? They say they're clowns in a dog suit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's what they say. I believe it. He's just, you know, I would put him, what I always say is I would put him in a room full of babies and spaghetti and meatballs and leave. And mm -hmm. I would never worry about him, you know, doing anything with any of the baby. That you would go back in in an hour, all the food would be gone and all the baby's faces would be shiny. <laughs> <laughs> and look them clean, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right. Uh, if your pet had an autobiography, what would it be called? Ah. Uh, uh, hmm, that's a good one. What would it be called, Buster? Uh, my life is my mama's favorite boy. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Now he's very, very social. He goes with me to work and runs around the office, and I don't know what it would be. Just um, a day in the life of the world's most handsome pug. <laughs> All right, how would you describe a no-kill animal rescue shelter to a child? Oh, that would be a rescue shelter where they take in animals who maybe have some challenges, like maybe they haven't been socialized or maybe they have diabetes or something, the ones that typically get put to sleep because they aren't cute and fluffy or they're old and they need a dental. That's often you see stuff like that. You know, they have like a list of, of uh, medical requirements and people don't like to necessarily adopt them they want the little fluffy puppy babies and no kill means just exactly what it says they will keep that puppy or that dog or that kitten there until they find a home for them or they become the office office pet <laughs> all right and let's see which animal would you make uh, would which animal would make the best president if the animal kingdom were to rise to power Oh, probably, uh, what was the guy from uh, uh, The Lion King? Yeah. Not Mustafa. What's the, what's the little uh, lion? Simba. 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 Simba, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Cat. Strong. Lion. Yeah. Strong and, uh, yeah. And fair. He was a fair. Yeah. And I'm a cat person, too. I have both, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those are silly questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. What would your pet say, or what would Buster here say about you if we asked him for a reference? Uh, he would say that he could get his mama to feed him treats just about any time he wants, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if your pet could redesign the food pyramid, how would it look? Oh, cookies on top. So, like, he loves chicken jerky, and then uh, at the bottom would be just plain dry dog food mm -hmm. and pretty much anything that's not green mm. <laughs> no green all right uh, if Buster here used a cell phone what app would he use the most oh he would probably cruise around on Facebook because he is so social or maybe Instagram he would be taking a lot of selfies mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah if your pet wins the title of king or queen, well, in this, yeah, king, king. Uh, how do you see yourself promoting the awareness for the Alaska Humane Society, Clear Creek Cat Rescue, and other no-kill uh, rescue shelters in the community oh. of Alaska? Well, Buster would be uh, happy to be an ambassador for those things. The cat that I have came from Clear Creek. Uh, he was a rescue from uh, uh, Polar Pug. Um, and I've also gotten other other pets, you know, in years past from the Humane Society. I've never, I don't think I've ever bought a dog or a cat. I think I've only rescued. I feel very strongly about that. And of course, you know, regardless of whether they were rescues or not, my first stop is always the vet to get them fixed. Excellent. Goes right into the next question. All right. Here comes a difficult one. 
Peter believes that all financial and volunteer resources would be best spent advocating for spaying and neutering as a form of prevention of homeless pets versus non-kill shelters taking care of already homeless animals. What is your opinion on where resources are best spent? Hmm, that's a good one. I think, I, I believe strongly that, that pet. I mean, they're pets. There are feral cats up here. I think they live sad, horrible, short, miserable lives. Uh, I think it's good that they get spayed if we could catch them and release them. But then I don't, you know, I would rather bring them in, socialize them and get them adopted. That's my choice. I think pets are better living with people to take care of them every day. They need somebody warm to sleep with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> and I need somebody warm to sleep with and watch TV with. That's what they're for. Yeah, absolutely. So, why did you decide to compete in this pet pageant? Because I think Buster's the cutest dog in the whole world, and I want everybody to see him. <laughs> he gets more he gets more likes on my Facebook page. And the other thing I do, I work for this company called Rebath, and of course there's everybody in Anchorage. Well, I shouldn't say Anchorage. This is, you know, we go all the way up to the valley. We go all the way down mm -hmm. to the peninsula. And I started doing this thing where I posted dogs of Rebath because I think probably in two years, I've been to maybe 10, maybe 15 houses where they didn't have an animal of some sort. I mean, you know, people in Alaska just love their pets. And so I always take pictures and post dogs of Rebath, and they're like the most popular thing on my Facebook page. I can yep. post travel photos. I could, I could pose with Mick Jagger, and everybody would still say, what, the dogs, where are mm -hmm. the dogs? <laughs> it's kind of funny. And that was it's it for popular. the questions. Perfect. Yep. Yeah.